hey guys welcome back to another amazing diy wig tutorial so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this diy crochet frontal wig so first i'm just basically wearing my cap on the mannequin head and i'm going to be using my lace my swiss lace so i'm just going to pin it on the cap to get the length of the frontal that i want So next I'm going to be using my concealer and angle brush to mark out the shape of the frontal. So the first thing I'm doing is basically marking out my center part. So the length depends on how deep you want the parts to be. So I used my measuring tape to mark out 6 inches because that's how deep I want it to be. So you can use any length depending on how deep you want the frontal to be. It could be 4, 5, 6 inches. So next I'm also going to be using my measuring tape to mark out 1.5 inches from the hairline okay so this is basically where I'm going to be doing my ventilation so just stick around so you get to understand what I'm trying to explain. So next I'm going to be measuring 1 inch on either side of the center pattern. Okay, so guys, I have from the front part of the cap to this part is 1.5 inch and this is going to serve as the hairline of the wig and I'm going to be doing proper ventilation on this side so this part to this part is 1.5 inch and it is running from either side of the ear so from the first ear to this other side as you can see so i have 1.5 inch from here to here so you want to measure 1.5 inch from the starting of the cap to any point okay it all depends on how deep you want the ventilation to be if you want it to be deeper you can make it two inches three inches or even four inches so from the midpoint down i have six inches and this is going to serve as the middle pattern okay and on either side of the middle pattern i have one inch from here to here measures one inch and from here to here measures one inch okay so i'm going to cut this out now so you guys see what it looks like have like a t-shaped frontal okay i have a t-shaped frontal like this is what it looks like currently so 
uh, next I will be sewing this down to the cap. So next I'm going to be preparing my braiding hair and the length depends on how long you want the wig to be though I divided the braiding hair into three equal lengths and that was what I used for filling the cap. So for this part I used my crochet hook and you want to make the hair as small as possible so you don't end up having big knots and that's just basically what I'm doing. I'm just basically crocheting the um, braiding hair on the cap to fill all the space on the cap. So guys I'm done filling the um, other parts of the cap and for this part that is remaining I want to use very small amount of hair so that the knots will be very tiny because this part is close to the front hull and you don't want the knots to be very visible so that's why I'm using very tiny amount of hair and you want to also ensure that you're um, crocheting them very close to each other so you don't have too much space in between. So guys, I'm done filling the cap and this is what it's looking like so far. So next, I'm going to go on to start ventilating the frontal, okay? So for ventilation, I'll be working based off my hairline that I already marked out on the mannequin head. So if you're customizing the wig for yourself, you can actually mark out your hairline so you get your perfect hairline. So I'm going to be using my ventilating needle and you can also use your crochet hook if you don't have a ventilating needle. But ensure that you're using the very tiny crochet hook and you're also being very careful so you don't rip your lace. And for the length of the hair, the length of the hair that I'm using is actually smaller than the one I used for the cap because it's easier to work with very short hair length for ventilation, especially when I'm working with braiding hair. And I didn't really do like a comprehensive ventilation tutorial on here because I have lots of video about um, ventilation on my channel so I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long. If you're interested, you can check those videos out to learn how to ventilate.
so guys i'm done with the wig and this is what it's looking like currently yeah so i actually left a line in between to serve as the center part and that's what you're seeing right now and i'm just basically going to show you guys what the other part of the wig looks like and you can see how natural the hairline is so while ventilating the hairline you want to ensure that you're picking about one to two strands of hair so it can give you that natural hairline look so while i'm waiting for my water to get bored i'm just basically detangling the hair because you want to ensure that the hair is properly detangled okay you want to ensure that it's properly detangled before adding your hot water to the hair so next i'm going to be using the mega growth daily leave-in conditioner and i'm basically going to be mixing this with my hot water so i'll be using this bowl just so i can properly mix the water and the leave-in conditioner and this is the mixture okay so i went back to ensure that the leave-in conditioner was properly dissolved in the water so i'm also trying to like properly detangle the hair here just so i'll be sure that everything is tangled before adding the hot water and i'm just basically adding the hot water to the hair So I kept on dipping the hair inside the hot water to ensure that every strand of the hair was properly soaked in the hot water just so I don't have any strand left out and this is what the wig is looking like. So I'm basically going to be leaving this to a dry completely. I'm not going to be using any heat on this hair until it is completely dried. So to make the drying process faster, you can use a towel to like, you know, dry out the excess water and just basically leave it somewhere that you can have enough air or sunlight to dry it up. So guys, this is the final look after the hair was completely dried and i really cannot wait to wear this wig okay so i'm definitely going to do an installation video so you guys get to see what this wig looks like on me and the texture was really amazing like it was really soft honestly and i was really happy at the outcome so if you want to see what it looks like on me um please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because i'm definitely going to be uploading an installation video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more amazing content give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and leave a comment in the comment section below thanks for watching and bye